All right, welcome to office hours. We're structure free. <laughs> All right, so let's see this problem. So here we are given the so we're given the um, the allowable shear stress tau allow equals twelve ksi. Yeah. And then the allowable normal stress is twenty ksi. Twenty ksi, and we want to find. What do we want to find? The max p. Uh, max p. Max p. And then uh, tau allow and. Okay. Oh, we don't need to find it. Those are given. Tau allow and sigma allow. Right? Because here, these values are actually given. Right? And so, what we're also given the diameter is uh, 0.3 inches of the bolts. Yeah. Okay. And so, this is what it looks like. So, here, we'll just do like a schematic of what it looks like. And this schematic. So this is recording. Okay, good. All right. So this schematic. So from a um, a side view, like what we have is. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have this and this, and we have kind of. A member and there's a force so this would just be if it were a solid rod this right here but there are two separate pieces that are connected yeah, two bolts. yeah and it's connected with like a plate right here mm -hmm. and then another plate right here oh. right there's like two plates that are smashed together um, and I need like a little eraser. Let's see here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's weak. You come in if you want. You. I, I am recording uh, this session for mechanics though. This is for mechanics. So if you have uh, questions about dynamics, um, maybe we can, we'll do that one next. Yeah? Okay. So here, and then, oh, that was terrible. With the straight edge, looked a lot better. Oh, okay, so it's at an angle here. This angle is 60 degrees, and there are bolts. There's a bolt here, like this. Okay. Yeah, and if I were an observer looking like, uh, like looking from here, Right? Yeah. <laughs> With a really long neck, right? Uh, and if I were looking like this, what I would see is, um, I would see here, like this. And then I would see like these plates. I would see these, pl I would see this, I'll put it in, uh, I'll see this plate right here. Yeah? Yeah. On the side, see this plate on the side. It's at an angle, and I would see the bolt heads like this. Oh, okay. Does that, yeah? Yeah. Does that make sense? Now that's why there's two bolts. Okay. Okay, so there's one on this side and one on the other side. Holding it together. Holding the, okay. so it's like my hands right here like this. And then I want to attach them, and there's a bolt going through here and a bolt going through here. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so now I wanna um, I wanna follow that. So now I I'm basically I what I want to do is find the normal force and the shear force on the face of the bolts. Okay. Okay. And so that if I I really want to make a cut, so here I make this cut. I want to cut, and I'm gonna draw my two my. FBD with cut and this is kind of like that weld problem we did in class okay. remember where we looked at it at an angle and so that weld in that one right here so I could draw the left side or the right side do you have a preference uh, right the right side so here the right side would look like this it would if I draw it in 2d it'll just be This 
here. And maybe we have a plate here. Like that. Okay. And there will be a force P like this. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, I don't have to worry about the bolts yet, but here the I would have a at the cut, I would have, I could have possibly a normal force, a shear force, mm -hmm. assuming we're going left to right, and then a moment like this. Yeah. Okay. And everything here is the center, and you know, the the at force P is acting through the center of the cut. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I apply my equilibrium equations using the sixty degrees. Yeah, so I probably want to use that 60 degrees. So here, this angle is 60, like this. Yeah. And so, like, I like to apply some of the moments first, right? Because I know it's going to be zero. Yeah. For this one, for this one at least. So here, if I do some of the moments about the cut, and positive is this way, I would do like negative m equals zero. Yeah. And that negative would just mean the moment yeah. is zero, which is that's a no-brainer. Then I do some of the forces. And I want to go with the internal load so I don't have a coupled equation. So this will be positive right here. Yeah. And um, this would be V. And I like, at least so I don't make a geometry mistake, I'll draw kind of this and this, like this. And so that, let's see, I know that, oh, 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 oh. Uh, let's see, I don't want to mess up my angles. So this angle right here is 60. Would you agree? Uh, yes. This parallel, parallel, uh -huh. and then parallel, parallel. Yeah. Yeah, so 60. And that would make this 30. So I can choose either one. Um, maybe if we want to stay with the 60, to get this vector, I would have a component here, and then a component here. Yeah? Yeah. And this would be P cosine 60. And this would be P sine 60. Yeah, yeah no one direction. Yeah. And, and so now in this, if I'm choosing, you know, upwards as positive at a 60 degree angle, it'd be V minus P cosine 60 degrees equals zero. Okay, so that would mean, if I, you know, I don't know what P is, I'm, I'm going to solve for that, but V yeah is p cosine 60 okay mm -hmm. um all right and then by some of the forces in the in the normal like if i go this way as positive then it would be negative n yeah plus p sine sine 60. sine 60 good equals zero and n is p, p sine, sine 60. 60. okay all right great okay so i have you know i use this just like we said before I, I used my cut and my um, equilibrium equations to relate the internal load to the external load. And this is what I've done. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know either. I don't have numbers. So I have to relate it to, um, and, and here, you know, the only material that really got cut was the bolts. Would you agree? Uh, like, yeah, because... Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we when we cut it, yeah, yeah, because there were there were just two plates that are connected. And the only material that we really cut through were the bolt the bolts, areas. Yeah. Okay, so now we want to apply our BDR, BDR. Okay, and and it's really for the bolts. All right. Yeah. A BDR for the bolts. Okay. There's two of the bolts. All right. And um, I'll just draw. Like he, ah, yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. And and so if I, I don't know, so the normal force causes what type of stress? Uh, normal. Stress. Normal stress, great. And then the shear force causes? Shear stress. Shear stress. And we're looking at, because it's a connection and it's like direct shear, we're looking at average shear stress. Okay. Okay. And so here, I don't know, you want to look at shear or normal stress first? Uh, normal. Normal stress. So then our BDR is sigma applied is less than or equal to sigma allow. Yeah. And um, and then we know here the normal force divided by the area that we cut. Okay. Which we could solve for. Which we can solve for. Yes. Yeah. Less than or equal to sigma allow, which, what do we say that was? Uh, that was 20, 20 KSI. 20 KSI. And so this would be P 
P sine 60 divided by uh, now, pi over 4 r squared. Pi over 4 diameter squared. Yeah. Yep. So it that would be the area of one bolt. What was it? 0.3 inches. Yeah. Squared. But how many bolts did we cut through? Uh, two. Two. So I put multiplied by two. It's like the total area of everything that I cut. Okay. Or I could say the normal force on one bolt is equal to P sine 60 divided by two. Yeah. And then the area of one bolt would be pi over four, but it just gives me the same result. Yeah. Okay, good. And then divide it less than or equal to 20 KSI. And then I solve this and I will get a P value, P less than or equal to some number. Should I solve it? Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. Okay. Six. So when you solve for this, everything, you got 3.26 kips. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hopefully that's right. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Who knows, right? <laughs> All right. And then, and then now we go and we check the shear stress. So now we'll do, I don't know, we'll use like orange. Why not? Tau applied less than or equal to tau allow. Yeah. And then v over v over a over the area of bolt. one bolt or two two bolts two bolts okay so i'll put a bolts yeah. and less than or equal to 12 ksi 12 ksi all right and when i let's see so we had what was v it was p cosine 60 cosine 60 divided by again two times pi over 4.3 inches squared is less than to 12 ksi and what would that give me for p i think it's yeah 3.39 kips and so now i have to make a decision you know what's the most load i can put on this system without causing failure and that would be the lowest that lowest would be 3.26 kips. Yeah. All right, and so my final answer would be, this is the limiting force. That's P max. P max, 3.26 kips. Okay. All right, that, yeah? Yeah.